If you do this, you may achieve a dreamless sleeps, the life will happen better in the system. People are doing other kinds of plants, herbs. If he reads a story or sees a movie, he will just create a reality with that. If dreams are becoming like reality, you must watch out. Is there a way to do lucid dreaming where as I fall asleep and shift into a dream state, I still retain awareness? Well, if the, that's the only way you wish to fly, it's up to you. But I want you to understand that the word dream means it's not real. That's what the word dream or the word swapna means it's not real. A whole lot of people, especially children, children between, I would say, eight to fourteen years of age, have a tendency to do this, that some of these children dream very strong when they're awake. Has it happened to you when you were that age? When eight to fourteen years of age, when your intelligence is blossoming, but you're not yet hijacked by your hormones, there is a strong tendency to dream strong. A child will simply sit like this and if he reads a story or sees a movie or something else somebody told him, he will just create a reality with that. Well. This can, you know, I've seen this with children and I've made efforts to disturb that dream always because this can... First of all, we need to understand this mechanism is so subtle. Anything that's subtle, it robust also, but anything that is subtle always has a certain sense of fragility attached to it. So we must understand our sanity, for every one of us I'm saying, our sanity is not a guarantee. Like your health is not a guarantee, just because you're eating proper food, you're doing the right thing, it doesn't mean for your life you will be healthy. Yes, largely we can take care, but there is no guarantee. People are doing everything right, get unhealthy get all kinds of diseases. So similarly, your sanity is not an assured dimension of life. It needs to be kept carefully. One must guard to ensure that we don't go off into that. So, giving too much significance to dream and making it more and more real in your experience is like pushing the line of sanity. Well, you may not cross, but there's no guarantee you will not. You could. Many people do. You must understand this. I've seen, you know, some of my... during... when I was a youth, boys who were around me were normal, perfectly normal in every way. Suddenly after three months, the guy's gone crazy, in six months he commits suicide, he dies. Perfectly normal guy. He has no great issues in his life, nothing, the usual things, whatever, young people, but nothing. There are no drugs, there is no alcohol, there is no anything. But perfectly normal person, when he flips into insanity, you don't know. Because 
it's a very fragile privilege that you have to be perfectly sane in every given situation. There are people who are sane when situations are sane, if situation goes little crazy, they will all go crazy. There's a whole lot of people like that. You just have to... You know that snake around Adiyogi, if it comes alive and just comes here, you will see how many people are crazy, how many people are sane. Hello? Lucid dream. <laughs> so if outside situations go off, the rack, you will also go off because sanity is a very fragile privilege. We must hold it on as a very precious, valuable privilege because once you lose it, we've lost all our faculties, everything that we have, we've lost. So, this lucid dreaming and you know, you can fly, you can become this, you can become that, well, comes from the Native American culture. It's all over the place today in America. A whole lot of people are doing other kinds of plants, herbs, stuff, roots, box, whatever, <laughs> to get lucid dreams. I would say don't, but you can't stop people from dreaming. I have a dream, yes, I have a dream. Now, if dreams are becoming like reality, you must watch out. Because one day, you will not know the distinction. One day when you do not know the distinction, people will experience you as insane. You may think you are perfectly fine, but the world will experience you as insane. This has happened to a lot of people on the spiritual path also, without doing any drugs, without doing any chemicals, nothing. Simply, devotees drive themselves up. We are doing devotion here in a controlled, stable way, it's very important. We are not doing boom kind of devotion, which exists in India as a cult. That they are like fantastic people, but they're crazy. They will not do anything effectively in their life. But like this, if they sit like this only, no drug, nothing, simply because lucid dreams and once there is not enough stability in your energy system, if dream becomes too strong, then you will know no distinction between what is eyes open, what is eyes closed. This distinction is very important. Eyes open, eyes closed. This distinction you must check. If this distinction is becoming thin, you must know your line of sanity is very thin, very thin. So, the simple thing that everybody could do is, see if you can just lie down on your back for most part of the night. Simple. That much practice you do, with the sadhana, if you're doing enough yogic sadhana, slowly these things may evolve by itself. Well, not everybody may be able to lie down flat on their back for the entire night. But in my opinion, you should not be sleeping for the entire night. Sunset to sunrise is twelve hours. Uh, a third of that is okay, a little more is okay, but not entire night. If you're doing enough sadhana, if you lie down on your back, then you will see the problem is actually the pillow and your… maybe your bum. 
two bumps, one here, one there. So if pillow is... you notice is a problem, reduce it, reduce it, see if you can get rid of it, it's the best thing. About the shape of your body, all you have to do is, depending upon the shape of your body, accordingly you must adjust the angle of your legs. If you adjust the angle of your legs, the enhancement of body in certain ways, that is naturally there, will be adjusted and you can sleep on your back. If you do this consciously, at least for half the time that you sleep, well, you may achieve at least dreamless sleeps, which is a good thing, called susupti. That means your... your sleep is such, there is no REM, there is no dream, there is simply pff. Every day you may not sleep like that, some days some disturbances may happen, something may be happening somewhere, something may... might have happened in your life, something may happen, but there is no need for anybody to go to bed every day and every day have dreams. That means you are not in a very healthy condition, you are not in a good place. Once in a way some dream came, it doesn't matter, you don't have to give too much meaning to it. But every day if you're dreaming, one simple thing to do is this, that you lie down flat on your back and sleep. You will see you will breathe better, that means the life will happen better in the system and all organs will work better and also ensuring if you don't want to have unnecessary dreams, disturbances, you must eat at least four hours before you go to bed, minimum. Five to six hours is good. That is, you're almost hungry before you go to bed, you just drink a glass of water and go to bed. Wow, you'll wake up early in the morning. No dreams, simply sleep and wake up. The whole experience of your life, in a certain way, is a dream. In Anadi, we created a dream machine. So we hasten the dreams a hundred times over than normal. We are not touching your prarabdha karma or the allotted karma. We are only going for the warehouse of karma, the sanchitta karma. Because the substance that is necessary to find one more womb has been taken away. But this body is perfectly fine. That means we've destroyed your future. <laughs> <laughs>